Just to pick me up Kelly's cookie sock. After the way you behave today, I am not inclined to give you a treat. Well, Cameron brought my wrath upon himself by sullying Emma's honor. I had to defend a good name. Really? Hmm? And what about Hayden? Did she deserve that kind of disrespect? Well, that was regrettable. Uh, I'll write her a note of apology first thing in the morning. Uh... I think you will hand her a note of apology in person after you've washed her car. Well, I can't drive, so how will I get her car to the car wash? <laughs> well, that's because you will be the one doing the washing. You mean chores? Yep. Oh, I don't do chores. Oh, you do now. Hiya, Laura. Hi. Spencer, how you doing? Nice haircut. Thank you. So how are you? I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. A couple of bad days. Um, you know what? It's okay. You can go on in and pick something out for yourself. Thanks. I have my own. Oh. Uh, Stella, when did you get here? How, how'd you know I was here? I, I didn't. I just got in town today, checked into a nice hotel, but the restaurant prices were too rich for my blood, so I came <laughs> here and couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you hard at work. You say my mom and Uncle Curtis know you're in town, huh? <laughs> you, uh, you here for his birthday, or...? Don't ever play poker. You haven't got the face for it. Quit fishing and just come on out and ask me what you want to know. Do you know about him? And my mom. We had a conversation about it. Yeah? And you're all okay with everything? It's still standing. That's all you need to concern yourself with. Your number one priority is getting those grades and graduating at the top of your class. Sadly, they were out of peanut butter, but I got the last five chocolate chip. Five? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're not planning on eating all of those tonight, are you? Grandmother, don't be crazy. I'm gonna save one for tomorrow. Oh, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. We've got one more stop to make. So uh, we should get going. Come on. Okay. Come on. Hey, uh, Laura, am I still worth rooting for? I wish you would make it easier. Sorry for the unannounced visit. No, that's all right. What's, what's going on? Oh, I just have somebody who couldn't wait to see you. Surprise! <laughs> Come on, here, dude. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but I will make an exception with Kelly's cookie. Let's see. How do you not like sweets? I know, right? That's just crazy. Well, it is pretty good, actually. Mm. Uh, as you get older, you realize that everybody has different tastes, doesn't make it good or bad. And the more tolerant you are, the more you enjoy life and the world around you. I hope you're paying attention because your Uncle Sonny is right. Hmm. I would never doubt his wisdom. Of course not. So how long are you here for? How long do you, you got him? Uh, well... She's got me for life. <laughs> I'm home for good. Yeah, we're kind of working out the details on that. Well, I hope you can spare him for a few days. I want to take you to the old neighborhood before it gets trendy like everything else in Brooklyn these days. <laughs> An anthropological excursion. <gasps> can Joss come along too? Well, we could ask her, but I'm pretty sure she has uh, other plans for the summer. That was the best sandwich I have ever had in my entire lifetime. Can I tell you something? That is nothing compared to the deli in Bensonhurst. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. Yeah, 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 you know what? I'm, I, I'm ready to go home to bed. Thank you very much for the sandwich. You know what? I think we ate dinner in reverse tonight, didn't we? Just another reason why I love being home. Oh. Okay, sweetie, take your plate into the kitchen for me and your milk glass. Wash your hands up, too, because we're going to head out. Okay. More chores. It looks good on you, young man. Okay. It does. Mm. Sassy. <laughs>